Good morning, everyone. So this morning I am just working through building out the first, which is kind of my first day actually building Interlude. Obviously we got the design sorted last episode. Okay, hold up. Interlude is a product which I'm building as a side project as I'm obviously a software engineer. In the last episode, I designed it or I designed like the MVP product of what I think needs to be included. And in this episode, I'm actually starting to build it. So you're gonna follow my day today as I go through my normal day and also how where I find time for building my side project, uh, which is obviously Interlude. Um, and by, at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you what I actually got to build and you can see how I, how I got on. So make sure you stick around to the end so you can see that. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the video. In today's episode, I'm starting the build. I'm not gonna get it done today, but I've gone an hour this morning to work on it and then maybe a few hours this evening. But I will give you a complete overview at the end of the video of what I actually get done today from a build perspective. It's always quite good because it kind of keeps me motivated to ensure that I don't slack. Because <laughs> obviously you can tell <laughs> if I slack. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what I'm gonna be starting out today. So building out the first kind of the, the main design and then I think I might do some back end as the week goes on. So yeah, let's crack on. So it's been a super productive day here in the office. Everyone else has gone home now. I'm the last one here. So I'm just gonna finish up, close my, my desk for the day with the client, and I'm gonna be working back on Interlude. I started some front end stuff this morning, took a bit longer than I wanted to, and you know, I didn't make as much progress as I wanted to, so I'm gonna try and get a bit more done now. I had lunch just in the courtyard down, down there, I don't know if you can remember in my last video. That was really nice, it's been really warm today as well. So um, yeah, beautiful day. Anyway, yeah, so now I'm just going to close the desk as I said, and then I'm probably gonna shoot, or maybe do an hour up here on Interlude, I did an hour back home, haven't decided yet. We'll come along for the journey either way. All right, now it's time to show you what I've actually built today. Now, actually, when I say today, it's actually been a couple of days since I recorded that episode, um, but I'm gonna show you anyway what I've built and where I am right now. Um, so obviously coming into the design, which I've showed you last time, um, it, nothing's really changed during the build. I kept it all pretty similar. I would say the best way to describe it is just doing a side-by-side, -side, which I can show you now. So this is the interview product, which I built, um, and then this obviously company's house. So let's say we wanted to find some company information. If I go to for company's house here on the right, uh, start now, okay, let's start such a company. Let's do, this is the example I've been using. I don't know why, let's just do blue media. So this is how it looks. And then you got to click in. Once you're in, you get all of this switches. If you want to see any documents, they open up in a new tab like that. And then you can, you can go through if that makes sense. So that is company's house's tool. So this is the new UI, which I've been building. So if I were to search blue media, media. Okay, so you get blue media, you can see the active overview and it loads in. So this is obviously a really basic version, but it's working. And the fact that this has got this far, I'm really proud with, I'm really proud. It's literally been a week and a half. So the rest of these items, filings, periods, and uh, filings, people and periods aren't done yet but they'll look something like this, where you've got this, uh, people, and then obviously the periods. But to be honest, I don't think there's much more I would think I really need to build for the MVP. I think there are a couple of other things which I obviously will build, which will be the saved and history. So you can see which companies you've clicked save for, kind of like bookmarks on Instagram uh, and Twitter or X. And then you've got history, which is obviously all of your past history searches. Thinking I'm gonna do something like company, uh, not company's house, sorry, like GitHub uh, repo contributions. It's like the way, they're, the way they're displayed. I think it'd be really cool if we do something like that. And that's pretty much it. I think what I really need to do once I've got those bits and bobs done, which I think will be probably the end of next week, is get it in front of people. Get it in front of a couple you know, potential users and ask them, you know, what do they think? Is it actually a better user experience than this on the right? 
Um, and if it isn't, why? Like, what, what else can we do to improve? So the whole idea behind Interlude is to be able to make those kind of mental jumps that people do make when looking at this information, you know, easier and, and make it for them. So it's more convenient for when they're looking at companies and, you know, looking at companies looked at the day before, et cetera, et cetera. It's all about convenience, this product. I don't know if there's a, a you know, a user out there that would find this useful or not, but we'll see. Like, for example, here, year end is, I think, a really important one in some, you know, financial or tax industries. And having the year end actually displayed in its own field, I think, super valuable. You know, normally people would have to go to filings. Okay, so it's, I think, September for the account statement. Got to look here. Yeah, so you'd have to deduce it from here, but sometimes that can be wrong and odd or whatever. Again, that's still a mental thought. If it's just, okay, year end September, cool. You know, let's see if we can find another company. When's their year end? Okay, July. Like, it's really easy, and I think we can make those steps. So, as I said, so the rest of the week, or the rest of, like, on the next seven days, I want to build out filings, periods, people, saved in history, and then bring in auth, because this is actually quite a mess at the moment from a, a Next.js and React perspective. Clean it all up, add in those, those extra tabs, bring in saved, bring in history, bring in some auth, and then obviously just get in front of some people. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And if you've got any feedback and thoughts on the product itself, please do let me know. I'd love to hear, you know, any, any, any ideas or thoughts you have. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on my next episode.